Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So, is a five minute chart a good time frame to trade? Very good question. For me, I like a five minute chart. Some people will absolutely hate it, but for me, I like it. Now, obviously, if you're swing trading, a five is probably too low for you. You're going to be looking at 15 hourly, four hourly, daily. You know, you're not going to go much lower than a 15, depending on what you're doing. Now, the good thing about a five minute chart is it's obviously a lot less noisy than a one minute chart or a three minute, that goes without saying, but you can generally fit in a couple of days worth of trade into your window, which to me is the key aspect to picking a time frame. It's not a case of how many signals you'll get. It's not a case of whether it's, you know, you're getting multiple signals on one versus the other. It's a case of putting into perspective of what you're doing. So we've got a pound JPY here. Now on a one minute chart, we wouldn't be able to see all of this information over here. Okay, now obviously we sacrifice multiple days before and that's when the multiple time frame chart analysis comes in. But a five minute chart is giving us, you know, enough information as a day trader to make a decision on a, on a kind of very short time frame, but also letting us understand what happened in the prior day. So without a five minute chart, we wouldn't have seen that we kind of tagged that low here and we've pushed back up here. Um, and you wouldn't have that information, you'd be fresh, you'd be looking at it really focused. Now, interestingly, what I think is interesting about a five minute chart is five minutes is a decent amount of time on, um, it's, it doesn't sound it, it sounds like a contradiction, I appreciate that, but you know, if you think of the market in phases, in other words, you know, you get a little bit of, vol you get a little bit of chop, then you get a bit of volatility expansion, and a bit more chop, a bit of congestion, a bit of digestion, a bit of push in one direction, you know, a five minute candle is not a bad amount of time when you slice the day up into segments like that and even go further. So if you're trading the open, you know, let's say it's an hour, the open's an hour or two, that's going to be four to eight 15 minute candles. It's very difficult to see a pattern in that. You stick a five minute chart on there, you start to see a little bit more patterns. And also, it's not as noisy, it's a little bit more clarity. If you've got a solid green, couple of solid green five minute bars, you know, it's a lot more interesting. It also helps you stay out of the chop. If you're getting red, green, what I like to call noisy candles, look at this, this is just chop. You know, you've got red, green, red, green, red, green. And if that's happening to you on a five minute chart, then you know to steer clear of it. You can even use a filter and say to yourself, listen, I don't want to get involved unless I see at least three solid greens in a row, or three solid colors in a row. When I see that, then I will focus and look for either a counter trend trade or you know, momentum trade, depending on where you are in the market, depending on what you're looking for, depending on your overall thesis and your overall trade ideas. So, you know, for some five minute might be too short, but I like a five minute because it's giving you a couple of days, generally speaking. Now, I've actually got this chart squashed up a little bit so I can show you on the screen, but normally I would have it so that you could see a lot more clearly. Now, I know a lot of people also use bar charts. So you've got a bar chart here using a five minute. Um, you were going to see kind of three full days worth of trade on it. Yes, the bars aren't very clear on this, and it would be a little bit wider when we had it on a full screen, but you can see some of the patterns. You can start to say, hey, you know what? We were high up a couple of days ago. Keep it in perspective. We tried to push higher. It didn't work out. You know, we've pushed lower, done some work down here. The pullback is sort of 50% of this. We've struggled here, roll back over. Let me put that in perspective of what I'm trying to achieve. So if I'm going long here, for example, I'm saying, well, I'm, I'm very cautious because, you know, we have the price has been kept down lower, but I can still see the patterns. I can still see what's happened over a several day period, but I'm not being uh, kind of influenced by anything further than that because I don't need to be. You know, I'm trading on a day trading perspective. I'm scalping it, looking for a 15 minute move, an hour move or whatever. I'm not so bothered about what's happening on a daily chart or a daily perspective. So, um, but the major takeaway is, you know, is a five minute a good chart? Yes, it is. But one thing to mention is that it's no good if you can't see the previous day, or let's say you've been shopping. Let's just very quickly talk about this. Let's say you've been shopping on day one, you know, you've been shopping on day two, and then day three, you're getting involved. There's no point in using a five minute chart then. Absolutely no point. Because all you've got, let's say this is, this is now your day three and you're doing work down here. You know, who cares 
what happened in those days it's irrelevant it's been and gone it's it's nothing to do with it you need to go back to a higher time frame to see what happened in the prior days because you may well be coming up to support you may well be coming into fresh air this stuff is irrelevant now it's been and gone it's moved a long way away so if you have moved a long a long excursion away from a range then you don't need a five minute it's useless to you all that data you've got from the prior couple of days is complete waste of time you're better off than going to a higher time frame to see where you are but general market conditions when markets are moving kind of stretching like we have on this chart here you know they're finding new levels they're doing a little bit of work to the upside to the downside congesting consolidating rotating then two days is absolutely perfect as a day trader gives you a good picture of what's happened today at the open a good picture of what's happened at the close as well the closing period so give you those major time frames the prior days open as well so you can see the main focus points that everyone's looking at see what's happened with them and they'll help you make uh, a decision with your day trading so let me know your thoughts guys what time frame charts do you like to use um, another video go and check it out we'll talk about the higher time frames and lower time frames and combining the two but this is specifically a five minute chart because i know it's very popular something i use i know that a lot of you guys use it but what time frame chart do you use you use a three a five you think it's a bit too noisy a five prefer a 15 a 60 let me know in the comments below i'm always interested to hear your thoughts on your strategies and the way that uh, you approach your currency trading all right guys take care uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one Bye bye